Do you know how most people die? Well, the answer is cardiovascular death. By that I mean diseases of the heart and blood vessels. About 50% of these cardiovascular deaths occur suddenly. And by suddenly I mean within one hour of the onset of symptoms of cardiac disease. And in 50% of the cases, that's about half of these cases, sudden cardiac death is the very first manifestation of any cardiac disease. I am Dr. Mohsen Raj Mantu. I am a DM Cardiology Fellow at Ames New Delhi. And in this video, I want to share some points on sudden cardiac arrest and sudden cardiac death. So what is a sudden cardiac arrest? It means sudden cessation of the pumping ability of the heart. The pump suddenly stops. So as a result, the person loses consciousness. He becomes unconscious because blood flow to the brain stops. His breathing stops. His pulses become impalpable. And if the cause of the cardiac arrest is not treated, it will eventually lead to sudden cardiac death. By sudden cardiac death, we mean that a person dies within one hour of the onset of symptoms. So one moment a person is alright, he experiences cardiac symptoms like chest discomfort, chest pain, dyspnea, by that I mean breathlessness, shortness of breath, palpitations or dizziness or maybe syncope, he faints out. And then within one hour of the onset of these symptoms, he experiences a sudden cardiac arrest and dies. This is sudden cardiac death. So how common is sudden cardiac arrest? Well, it is a very common cause of death, especially in industrialized countries. If you talk of the United States, they experience about 4 lakh, that's 400,000 sudden cardiac arrests annually. But we don't have such data in India, but, but knowing that our population is huge, more than a billion, we expect a huge number of sudden cardiac arrests. Sudden cardiac arrest, it typically or more commonly occurs in people who have a structural heart disease. They have a heart disease, they may know it or they may not know it. And most commonly, these people have what is known as coronary artery disease or coronary atherosclerosis. The incidence of sudden cardiac arrest on an average is about 0.1 to 0.2 percent that is 1 in 1000 to 2 in 1000 per adult population per year and by adult population I mean people aged 35 years and older. Does sudden cardiac arrest, sudden cardiac death occur in young as well? Of course it does. Sudden cardiac arrest can occur in young adults or adolescents but this is very rare about 0.001%. That's one in a hundred thousand population per, per year. However, the event gains more publicity, especially if the, if the young adult or an adolescent or someone less than 35 years old, less than 40 years old, if he is a public figure, if he's an athlete, if he's a TV star, say the, the uh, event of Siddharth Shukla, the actor is pretty recent. And there's a huge list of athletes who've expired because of sudden cardiac death before the age of 40 years. What are the common causes of sudden cardiac death in adults? The most common cause is coronary artery disease. By that, I mean disease of the blood vessels of the heart. A disease what is commonly known as coronary atherosclerosis. Number second, cardiomyopathies. By that, I mean disease of the heart muscle itself. And third, diseases of the heart valves or valvular heart disease. Are the causes of sudden cardiac death different in young adults and adolescents? The number one cause is cardiomyopathies, the diseases of the heart muscle itself. The most common cause being hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. Number second, 
is myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart muscle itself, which can be caused by an innumerable number of viruses, including COVID-19 virus. Number third, coronary artery anomalies. And number four, so-called inherited arrhythmias or genetic arrhythmias. These people have a structurally normal heart, but they are predisposed to dangerous cardiac rhythms, which lead to certain cardiac death. Examples include Long QT syndrome, Brigada syndrome, or CPVT. Is family history important? The answer is yes. It's important if your family has history of premature or early history of heart attacks or strokes. And so is any family history of sudden unexplained deaths in first or second degree relatives, because a number of these cardiac disorders run in families. So what are the risk factors of cardiac diseases in general? Besides old age and male gender, the important risk factors include cigarette smoking, diabetes, chronic kidney disease, hypertension or high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia or elevated blood lipid levels, cigarette smoking, physical inactivity, obesity, and stress. Can sudden cardiac death be prevented? Well, the event of sudden cardiac arrest, sudden cardiac death is largely unpredictable. However, if we control the risk factors of cardiovascular disease that I mentioned, we might prevent the incidence of sudden cardiac deaths. By that, I mean adopting a heart-healthy diet, stopping smoking, regular physical activity and avoiding physical inactivity, a better control of one's blood pressure, a better control of one's diabetes, and if someone is a known cardiac patient, someone has a known history of heart attack or a known history of heart failure, strict adherence to the medical therapy that is prescribed by a cardiologist would certainly decrease the progression of the disease and decrease the incidence of such sudden cardiac death events. Thanks for watching the video. I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.